Hello my friends. Um, to, so today I would like to talk about something that is very close to my heart these days and of course that's the only thing that I can talk about. <clears throat> and I feel that it's something really important, um, that something that is happening and is, it's real. And what's really important for me in this video is to not polarize any anybody that is watching this or perhaps interested in this information because um, it's not only for spiritual people or people that are on a spiritual path or are interested in spirituality. This is something I really emphasize a lot on my journey is that <clears throat> we are all spiritual beings and whether we are aware of it or not, we are going through a, a spiritual expansion and evolution, the expansion of our consciousness. So regardless of what your path is, you may be experiencing certain things and not quite know or understand what the heck is going on. So I'm, I'm inspired, I, I felt inspired to make this video to perhaps shed some light for those of you that are experiencing certain things right now that might feel unusual, might feel strange, might feel weird, and are looking to having some understanding. And so I, I have a list, <clears throat> actually, of certain things that some of you may be experiencing. Now, the spiritual term for what is really happening right now is ascension. The, the planet is ascending. We are moving, if, if you think about the universe, if you think about the planet, it's all moving in the spiral movement. And we are constantly moving in this way. And there's an ascension happening right now on the planet. And we are, as individuals, are playing our part in that process and we are ascending and expanding our consciousness and literally changing our frequency and our DNA structure. So if you want to look at this from a different point of view, maybe that is not so woo-woo and spiritual, is that there's shifts happening. That's it. That's the bottom line. Just keep it really, really simple shifts are taking place and the external shifts that we are seeing are merely a reflection of the internal shifts that are happening for so many of us and, and everyone and it's just a matter of where you're at on your path and what is your soul soul journey because we all have a very specific path so <clears throat> to keep this video as short as possible if you have any other questions or are curious to know more about this if if you hear some of the things that I'm I'm about to read here that you resonate with that you experiencing please contact me and I would love to talk more about this and this is really part of the work that I do is as I'm learning about this path and this journey and what I'm experiencing is to really helping others on their journey because these are times of huge transformation and sometimes it can be overwhelming especially when we experience things that are so wacky just borderline feeling insane or something is just not right so just rest assured that everything is is right and most importantly that you're not alone so um, first thing that you might be experiencing is unexplainable feelings of sadness, depression, despair, emptiness, loneliness, grief, lack of motivation, feeling lost. And again, each one that I'm going to that I'm going to share with you, I can expand so much more. So if you would like to know more information and talk to me in, um, in person, um, we can we can do that one on one. But if you are feeling all of those things, just know that it's part of the process and nothing is wrong. And what you are feeling is being processed through you, not just for you personally, but for the collective. 
and if anything like that arises is to just let it arise and not judge it and not look at it as something wrong and let yourself feel because that really the only way that we can overcome or move through anything is to fully feel it without any uh, without putting any label on it um, big urge urges to change environment to change a job to change relationship etc you might be feeling this unexplainable almost urge to just for a change and that might be scary but that can be um, something that a lot of other a lot of us are experiencing right now physical symptoms now that's a big one uh, I know that I've been going through that a lot and feeling kind of overwhelmed because I'm such a healthy person and super vital and very very energized and always have lots of energy but um, some of the physical symptoms that you might be feeling is weakness fatigue b being really tired dizziness headaches joint ache that's a big one uh, back aches unexplainable swings in appetite feeling super super hungry and then not feeling hungry at all unusual food cravings all of a sudden you crave things that are just so out of the ordinary digestive issues just kind of tummy ache and feeling uncomfortable in your in your stomach without changing anything that that you usually eat flu-like symptoms again feeling that achiness and that weakness in the body that might be something that you um, you've been experiencing and there's physical sensations that you might be noticing more than than usual is tingling sensation especially in the area of the crown chakra because that's the opening for um, divine information so feeling a lot of tingling and, and sensitivity in the crown and also um, in the third eye area which is the seat of intuition and where we can actually see see beyond the the two eyes uh, pain in the heart in the in the heart chakra area pain in the chest just unexplainable pain um, heart beating really fast like you'll be doing your thing and all of a sudden the heart starts to beat really really fast for a few moments and then it slows back down uh, hearing different tones like all of a sudden there's a change in frequency almost like you've changed the channel on the radio so that can that can be a, a symptoms these are all things that I personally have been experiencing and I know I'm not alone so that's why I inspired to make this video another thing and that's a really important one lack of interest interest in and in being social and going to social gatherings needing to be more alone now it's okay for those of us that are already more introverted but it can be a little bit of a challenge for people that are more extroverted and very social and all of a sudden feeling this change of state of mind that there's there's the body the mind is asking for more alone time so again honor that and don't make it wrong in any way and if that means that you skip or miss a few gatherings or whatnot just please honor what is being asked of you um <clears throat> really big one changes in sleep patterns and it can manifest in either needing to sleep a lot more and it really goes through phases like waking up and still feeling tired and just feeling like you can just sleep the whole day or take naps more than usual or waking up in the middle of the night just having an interrupted sleep at night time or some of you may be experiencing waking up at three or four in the morning and unable to go back to sleep um, enhanced sensitivity to environment and people you may be noticing that you're more sensitive to the environment and that means sounds light smells um, certain people certain environments that you are starting to feel more sensitive uh, that it's perhaps not the most comfortable for you to be around or you feel really de depleted you feel that your energy is just a little bit out of whack when you're in certain situations and certain environments. So tune into your body and really listen to that.
constant um oh yeah <laughs> that was the last one um so with all with that list that i just read there's there's actually a lot more these are personally things that i've been experiencing and that i felt really called to share with you and what's really important is it's always important right to honor ourselves to honor our bodies and to really listen to what is being asked of us like these these bodies are temples and they're so intelligent so to listen always to listen and to honor and most importantly and especially during these times and especially if you are feeling a lot of unusual things is to slow down nurture yourself and soften 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 and turn on the volume when it comes to self-care self-nurturing being gentle with yourself slow down and relax 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 more than any other times right now breathing deep is really important be aware of your breath take little breaks during the day and just breathe even if it's just for a minute bring your awareness into your breath and bring relaxation into your body because what's happening also is the nervous system and this is for all of us the nervous system is being recalibrated and being readjusted and living in in the in, in the world unless you live somewhere remote in the middle of the jungle there's a lot of, of um, stimulation going on and most of us the nervous system is super overstimulated and overworked and in order for all these um, big shifts and big transformation to really be integrated and embodied we need to maintain a calm state and having our nervous system really stable and really grounded so more more than ever before focus on bringing relaxation into your body and assist yourself and your nervous system during this process and again really know that you are not alone no matter where you are on your path no matter what your lifestyle is no matter who you are a spiritual seeker or not we are all souls on this journey and we all part of this amazing transformation that the planet is going through and we are all assisting in this process so thank you so much for just being who you are and again if you want to know more about this and if you are experiencing your life right now and the intensity of of certain things and this transformation please you can go to my website or contact me and i would love 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 to share more about this i love you so very much thank you for everything that you do set now